Hi, I'm Obasin. I'm the president of Innovation Health Service. I'll give you a quick overview of our web interface, which is called Vivian. So this is our web interface. Your technologist will be given a username and password. And then logging in, they will click on patients in the queue here. And that will show them a queue that's specific for your site. I'm logging in as an administrator, so I see all the scans for all our sites. So it's a little busy. But this is a queue, for example, of all the emergency cases that are coming in are in this red area. Um, and at the bottom are the CT, cardiac CTs and cardiac MRIs that are not emergencies and um, actively being read. These are ones that are happen to be assigned to me. On the right is the doctors in the group. We always have a doctor on emergency shift. And then we have uh, various doctors with expertise along the right. This is mostly for our internal purposes. So any single site, for example, we have CHS and Heart Hospital, any single site will only see their um, queue, whatever has been entered to read. So you will click, have your administrative staff, either secretary or a CT tech or uh, someone click new patient and enter just some basic demographics, pick the site uh, for you. For you guys, well, let's just click a demo. We have a demonstration system, so we'll just click that. So they'll enter the patient's name. I'm just gonna enter myself here. And um, fake medical record number. Uh, we'll enter the patient's date of birth. And then whatever the indication is for the study, can type it in or they can click um, or copy paste the indication. And then who the ordering physician is, it can be either selected from a drop-down we populate or just typed in from their order. Then uh, the priority of the case we can discuss during our proposal and contracting. But in general, ED cases, we usually turn those around in less than 60 minutes, but we give ourselves a little bit of leeway in the drop down pool for two hours, inpatients less than 24 hours, usually it's less than 12. Um, and then outpatients in various um, priorities. Um, let's say this is an outpatient routine. Then uh, the type of scan that's clicked is a simple coronary, um, and this will be meaningful to your technologists, and we'll discuss that with them. And then if it's a backlog, some sites have scans that are old and yet need to be read. Um, also, who's going to do the uh, overread? This we will discuss through contracting. And then they click submit and this submits to a web page. And then um, there's a simple tab system here. Um, those demographics are kind of all we need. Um, there's an area for attached files. Either they can copy and paste the clinical history uh, from a note um, or can upload a PDF or uh, attach it in some other way. Um, sometimes they uh, uh, add it to the DICOM file so it transfers across the VPN along with the images. Just some notation of why we're doing the case and the office note or consultation that led to the case. Then on the scans tab, the CT tech then does the scan. Um, and as soon as they're done with it and it's ready for us to read and is transferred or transferring across the VPN, they click CT complete and save the status. Um, also, we like them to tell us if there's a wet read number that um, the doctor is waiting for, if they're waiting for a verbal phone number, any notes about the quality of the study that they want the doctor to know, and then we write them any notes back about the quality of the study. Um, it's important for them to say, hit these blue, this blue button after they enter the data to save it on the web page, and then that's in there. Um, and that's it for the technologists. Everything else is done on us. I'm getting texts 
uh, automatically because this has been labeled complete. Then the doctors will come in here uh, and reserve the case and start reading it. Uh, we use a structured reporting system, which uh, will generate the final reports. And then those reports will show up here um, in a couple of formats, whatever the site deems they want, either as a PDF or as a uh, text that can be copied and pasted. In some of our sites, we have an HL7 interface that transfers it automatically um, into their EPIC medical record. Um, so that's it for the uh, interface. It's it's pretty clean and uh, and uh, easy to do. Cases can be entered in the system weeks in advance before the patient comes in by a secretarial staff. Um, they can be deleted and this keeps things uh, uh, pretty clean and easy. There's also, um, I should show, there's a way for any particular site to track that they are um, handling the case internally correctly. What I mean is, let's say they clicked on this case and and now they have uh, a secretary or admin staff have added the report to um, to the EMR on this admin tab. We set up a tab for secretarial staff to click this and and then confirm that they've sent it to the EMR. We don't need this. This is mostly for them to track where uh, was it sent for billing at that site. Are the results, in fact, appearing in the EMR? Um, so this is for the individual sites to be able to track the case from beginning to end without having to create another Excel spreadsheet and another system to track those completions. Okay, and that's it in a nutshell. Thanks.